a distant time and faraway place, the planet of New Texas floats deep in space. Sky of three suns, land of precious ore, the carrion rush brought outlaws by the score. One day, a lawman appeared with powers of pop, wolf, puma, and bear. Protector of peace, mystic man from afar. Champion of justice, martial brave star. It has been reported that an unidentified millionaire has leased the Eiffel Tower from the French government for an undisclosed fortune in Carrium. And finally, this update on Sherlock Holmes. As was reported yesterday, the legendary 19th century detective Sherlock Holmes fell through a time warp and ended up here in the 23rd century, where he met up with the alien Dr. Whitson and also his distant relative, Mycroft Holmes. Holmes also received his first client of the 23rd century, Marshall Bravestar, who was seeking a runaway alien boy named Fleeta. Clues led them to an abandoned warehouse in another part of old New London. However, they have not been heard from since. Oh, where are we? I would say we are in an underground dungeon. And we appear to be prisoners. I'll say. I... Uh, uh, something wrong? Shh! What is it, Marshal? It's Fleeter! <gasps> oh, Marshal Bravestar! What a wonderful friend you are! I've been very worried about you, Fleeter. Why did you run away and hide on the Carrium Freighter? My mommy and daddy, they're so far away. They can't hear me singing, so I ran away. I needed to find them. I'm scared every day. Oh, poor little guy. Give him here. What a strange voice the lad has. Almost hypnotic. It makes me see... Uh, pictures. Very strange indeed. Hmm. So your parents are on Earth. No, space is their home. They are nowhere near. Their song spans the cosmos, but mine they can't hear. The boy sings in rhymes and riddles. He has his own language. With care, we may decipher it. But for now, we should make our exit from this dungeon. Wait. Who's that? Riff Randalls, member of an illegal hypno-rock group called Discord. We've suspected them of crimes before. Hmm, interesting. Strength of the bear! Incredible! It's the hijacked carrium freighter. Hmm. I'm starting to have what I believe is a workable theory. It's fantastic, but a few simple observations should confirm it. Come on. as I suspected. What is it, Uncle? Elementary, my dear Mycroft. Observe this newspaper. It appears to be quite old, yet it is dated the day before yesterday, and its headline speaks of the Carrium Freighter hijacking. It must have been blown through the time warp to the 19th century. And notice this branch, broken when the lid of this strange device was opened. 
Obviously, this tree grew after this device was closed. And this tree is a good 300 years old. Egadol! What are you getting at? Just this, Whitson. Only one man could have known that I had been transported into the future. Only one man could have followed me. And only one man could have known about the Carrium Freighter's power failure before it happened, allowing him to hijack it. E. Gadholms! Who is it? What does this mean? It means, Whitson, the most evil, brilliant, dangerous criminal of the 19th century is still alive today. It could only be... Professor James Moriarty. <laughs> Very good, Holmes. I have always maintained that your intelligence was almost equal to mine. You are mostly correct in your pitiful guesses. I did see you fall into the time warp, and I did discover that you had gone to the 23rd century by means of a newspaper that was blown to me. Determined that you should not escape my vengeance, I did construct a suspended animation chamber in my underground hideout. It kept me alive for 350 years. And I did capture a richly loaded carrium freighter while it was helpless during a power failure. <laughs> I love this century! It has so many opportunities for a person of my... talents, shall we say. Criminal perversions describes it better. Whatever. In any case, I discovered aboard that freighter an unexpected treasure far more valuable than carrium. Fleda? Yes. Though I came to the 23rd century seeking vengeance on you, I now have a much bigger goal in mind. Nothing less than world conquest, Holmes. And without a shot being fired. And this strange young lad with a voice that sings pictures will help me accomplish it. Bring these two along. And as for you, Holmes, I'll be back later as king of the world, to preside over your doom, Tatum. And don't be gentle. <laughs> I, 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 I say, Holmes, it looks a bit sticky, what? Most assuredly, my dear Whitson. I'm afraid we're in a bit of a fix. Shall we get them, Whitson? Decidedly, Holmes. What? I fear you gentlemen are in for a bit of a shock. <laughs> Jolly good, Whitson. And now for Moriarty. I'll just take this bit of Moriarty's cape along. I have an idea it might be needed. He must have come this way. But how the deuce would we follow him now? He could have gone anywhere. Precisely, Whitson. But we are not lost yet. I'll just summon some help. With money? Precisely. Observe. Money. Money, money, money. <laughs> oh, you're playing my song, Gab. <laughs> Looking for me? Yeah, and me? I am. I understand your dog there has a fine sense of smell. Right you are, Gov. Old Baskerville could track a bug across the new London Metroplex, he could. Well then, can you follow this scent, Baskerville? <coughs> yes, I know the man is a stinker, but please follow him anyway. It's a matter of utmost urgency. <coughs> Baskerville's got a scent! Come on! What is this place? It's the old New London to Paris Tabo train. They must have taken it. Then we must follow them. 
Uh, how the deuce do we do that, Holmes? The next turbo train doesn't come for another hour. There's the answer, Whitson. That dirigible. Come on. The game's afoot, and there's not a moment to lose. Amazing! I never dreamt I'd ever be in a flying machine. We'll be over Paris in a few minutes, gents. Any place in particular you want to go? It's a big city. I've been pondering that. Whitson, answer me some questions, if you will. If I can. What is this hypno-rock that Mycroft mentioned? Strange music, illegally changed electronically to make it hypnotic. It can make people do strange things. Then suppose, Whitson, that this same hypno-rock technique were used on Fleeter's already hypnotic singing. E Get Holmes! Moriarty could control people's minds! Precisely. And if this hypnotic song were broadcast all over the Earth... Moriarty would control the world! Exactly as he boasted. Ow! Horrible! Now, now, just a minute, Mr. Holmes. To broadcast all over the Earth, this Moriarty would need a huge antenna. How could he possibly hide such a thing in Paris? Ah, but that's the diabolical genius of the man. He hid it in the most cunning place, right in plain sight. Uh, 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 dash it, Holmes. You, you, you speak in riddles. Not at all, Woodson. You will soon discover my meaning. To the Eiffel Tower, Hack, and pray that we are not too late. <laughs> the Eiffel Tower! It cost a fortune in stolen carrium to hire, but it was worth it for this. This giant monument shall be the secret antenna that will broadcast my song of conquest! I cannot believe you would do such a thing. Your plan is too evil. I will not say. Oh, you'll sing all right, boy. As long as I have your friends in my power, you'll do exactly as I say. There's what I want you to sing. Now get ready. It's showtime, folks! Uh, you, you were right, Holmes. Moriarty is going to use the Eiffel Tower to broadcast all over the world! And beyond. What? Nothing. But with any luck, we'll solve two cases tonight instead of one. Fly in close, Hack, and keep your ears plugged. interrupt your program to bring you this special announcement. I, Professor James Moriarty, am taking over the world. Hit it, boys. Sing, boy. Sing my song. Or else. What? Sherlock Holmes? The game's up, Moriarty. You've lost. Not yet, Holmes. I have your friends here. Hardly. You seem to have lost some hostages, Professor. What? Are you insane? Of course not. Have you got them, Whitson? Uh, I certainly do, Holmes. Get him! Ah! 
I shall keep you quiet for a while. Nice flying, love. I'll handle the guns. I think I can stun Moriarty from here. No! I think your uncle has a plan. Surrender, Moriarty. I haven't lost, Holmes. You have. Out there is still all mine. They are all still my subjects. All still my slaves. Not for long. Sing, Frida. Sing your song. The one you want your parents to hear. Sing the song that's in your heart. Hear the love in your heart. Let it set your soul free. Are being freed. I must shut off the power. No. There. That should do. What? What? It didn't work. Impossible. Holmes is powering the transmitter. It's over, Sherlock Holmes. You have interfered with my plans for the last time. I may have lost this battle, but you shall lose our war. After 356 years, Sherlock Holmes, it is time to meet your doom. What? That light? What? What? What can it be? No! What can it be? It must be Fleeter's parents. They heard the song. Mother! Father! You came for me! You heard my song! You came for me! Uh, is it amazing? Frida must be like your earth caterpillar, which transforms into a beautiful butterfly. Our lost son has been found. Our thanks to you, Sherlock Holmes. May you continue to restore such happiness Others. But mother, father, I would never want to leave my friends forever. You can visit any time, Fleeter, as long as we know that you are safe. Sherlock. We were worried about you. Not me. You were great, Mr. Holmes. Neat adventure. Couldn't be better. Especially since Fleeter has been restored to his parents. Yep, which means my case is over. But what happened to Moriarty? Oh, don't worry about him. He's still hanging around. I will have my revenge, Holmes. I will have my revenge. Oh, this is humiliating. <laughs> I'll have the Yard come pick him up. What are your plans, Marshal? Well, now that Fleeter's parents are found, I reckon I'll head back to New Texas. Sure has been exciting, though. Good to have met you, Mr. Holmes. Well, I'm sure we'll meet again, Marshal. After 356 years, I have a feeling that my greatest adventures are still to come. This 23rd century is fascinating. I anticipate fantastic new crimes to solve. 
And I'd be proud if you boys would share them with me. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Damn. But no more stealing. Oh, okay. Well, I guess you want this then. My wallet. My medallion. My Ray Derringer. Uh, uh, my, dear me, my stethoscope. I can tell that this new century is going to be very interesting. Blast you, Holmes. I'll get you yet. I'll be out on bail before you hit. Hey, what? what happened to my wallet? <laughs>